Trivia time! I have a question for you guys. What character that you know off the HSR roster can do these three things right here? First, they wear a pair of glasses. Second, they have a cool and unique outfit. And third, they completely shred the enemy's defenses with an ultimate that only takes two or three turns to charge up and absolutely destroys their whole existence and being and wanting to exist. And if you guys said it was Pela Poo, you'd be absolutely wrong. It's actually Silverwolf. Silverwolf also has a cool outfit and has little pixelated glasses and also can shred the enemy's defense but i think that pale is better so that's who we're talking about today the free to play defense shredder which honestly uh, to me seems better than pale and she should be up on the tier list pride win why do you have her on the tier list like that uh because silver wolf's an absolute giga chad gamer okay she can't compare to pale okay pale just has one move she has an aoe defense shred okay that's all that pale can do and you're telling me that you think that pale is better because she can't even change typing she's a loser she doesn't even she she gives extra defense shred or extra debuffs whenever you use her skill silver wolf is doing that with her basic attack out of my shot oh pride when i tell you what okay i'll leave now but i'm taking ting yoon with me okay yeah you take her with her cracked neck you're not doing anything with that anyways loser huh oh. That's why I hate Pride. Pridewin just has some bad takes sometimes, guys. I mean, most of their takes are fine, but come on, Pela Poo! S tier, baby, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Why is Pela S tier? Why should you as a free-to-play player be building Pela? How to build her, everything you need for, and yeah, that's basically everything we're talking about. So, Pela Poo, why is she goaded with the sauce? So, let's go ahead and start off with a little kit breakdown first. First skill move, it uh, it removes a buff from an enemy. That's about all it does until you get her E4. We'll touch on Eidolons later, though. It's okay, I wouldn't recommend using it unless you really need to remove move a, a buff from an enemy like maybe this guy right here that can regen his health when his minions are on the field and they have their buff on them still just hit him with that and it removes that ability from him but other than that i mean i really am not using it like i said until e4 but where the main juiciest part of her kit comes is from her ultimate move guys if you have her e6 which hopefully you do have her at least e5 right she is giving a 45 defense shred to everyone on the field this is absolutely massive not to mention the energy cost for this is quite low i think it's a 110 i'm, I'm not even looking at a sheet right now to see but I, i'm gonna assume it's a 110 energy cost and what makes this even easier to obtain and why i even thought to guess of it in the first place is because of her talent guys because whenever she attacks an enemy that is debuffed she is getting extra energy every time she attacks that enemy pairing this up with energy region rope means she's getting massive energy back for every time you even use a basic attack and this is why i think that pala is superior to silver wolf is because she does give aoe defense shred which is absolutely massive and not to mention she's also very sp positive because really the only thing you're using is basic attacks the whole time so you're getting sp back for the team and she's able to proc a two to three turn ult off depending on how you have her built which is what we're going to talk about right after we talk about her bonus abilities and how you should be leveling everything up so first of all the biggest bonus ability you should be getting is called the secret strategy what this is going to be doing is increasing the effect hit rate for the whole team by 10 percent including herself which means she gets an extra free 10 percent effect hit rate which means it allows her to build less effect hit rate into her kit because you have this extra 10% effect hit right now and the other two bash and wipe out are fine this just allows you to build a dps payload if you so wanted to though in this video today we're mainly going to be focusing on the tanky version of payload versus the dps version i'll touch on it as i'm going through the character breakdown and how to build them but yeah anyways let's go ahead and top into the part you probably want to hear most about relics how do you build miss payla poo what relics does she need so we can actually look in game to see what everyone else is using here for Miss Palapu, and as you can see, top here is going to be Weathering Guard, but in the middle here is the Ice Set, and then in the bottom here is Two Piece Speed, Two Piece Weathering Guard. Now, how I like to run my Palapu, or the best in slot for Palapu, would be the Four Piece Wind Set, and this is because she gets her ultimate back up so quickly, you can cycle her a lot quickly with the Four Piece of the Eagle Set right here. When you use ultimate, it gives you advanced action forward, which is really good for her, but kind of cringe to farm, right? And if you're farming for DPS Paleo, you're not using this set. If you're farming for Jingle Yu, then maybe you can run this right here, but the reason reason why the guard set is so actively used on her is because it's in the domain here with the quantum set quantum sets just really op at four piece you get basically 10 percent defense shred for absolutely free if the enemy is quantum weak you get an extra 10 percent defense shred so 20 percent defense shred added with her 45 percent defense shred is absolutely massive that's why people just use this because they get it while farming for the quantum set anyways right but that's not what i recommend either though it is an option you can definitely use what i recommend is a two-piece weathering guard and two-piece speed mainly just two-piece speed right because you want her to be 
as fast as possible so she's able to cycle as fast as possible so you could potentially make up for what that four piece eagle set would have gotten you so that's why i do recommend the two piece speed with the two piece weathering guard here imo that's the best set to farm in my opinion the speed set here allows you to farm for the hp set as well which is really good for any support type character just to slot in there just to have something on them where they're not dying as frequently right and you can even run the two piece hp two piece speed on her as well it just depends if you want the extra damage resist or hp really up to you at the end of the day but overall guard set not too bad to farm because you are getting the quantum set which actually helps out with her on being on the team it's just it plays really well with payla anyway so yeah very good set to farm there too but let's go ahead and talk about some of those planner sets here now her best in slot planner set in my opinion is going to be the broken keel because this is giving her effect resistance and also giving crit damage for the whole team which paired with defense shred multiplies her damage even more obviously but effect resistance too so she's not getting cc'd and absolutely molly whopped alt f4 deleted whenever she's fighting this guy right here you know now of course there are other alternatives you could run you could farm for the pinnacone set because it does give five percent extra energy regen and it does offer a damage bonus to the same type that she is so if you're using her on a team with someone like jing liu right which is probably one of her best in slot dps wise you're giving her an extra damage bonus as well no, favorite, what the hell is going on no. today why are these people just coming to my king. video yeah. man shut a go leave brother what the hell I am sorry about this guys. It's been a weird day today. But let's just go ahead and talk about the final planners that you could run Ageless gives you HP gives a team attack super good super viable not the best in slot obviously but obviously an easy set you can get because you get it with space ceiling station overall pretty decent to farm the main stats starting off with the boots first speed boots I wouldn't recommend anything else just run speed boots you want to be as fast as possible you can run effect hit rate body and you might want to run effect hit rate body if you're not reaching at least 47 percent effect hit rate if not you can forego this completely and just run like an hp percent body piece if you're going for a tanky paleo if you're going for a dps paleo obviously run crit rate crit damage here hello gamers future editor youtube here to bring you a quick little tidbit of information as far as like the ehr goes right if you're running s1 resolute shines of pearls of sweat you are going to need a lot more effect hit rate right guys if you're not running s5 then obviously that's lower and if you're wanting to get like guaranteed defense shred every single basic attack you'll need around 8.8 .8 effect hit rate per piece but realistically just try to aim for one extra roll on your pieces just so it has like the little one sign beside your effect hit rate and you should be fine if you do that then you lose out on about 10 percent effect hit rate across the whole board so yeah just aim for one roll that's all you really need with the other one you need two rolls per piece which can be hard just aim for one roll you should be fine so let's go ahead and talk about what that rope and sphere is going to be rope is going to be err i don't care what anyone else tells you you want err here you want to get her ultimate up as fast as humanly possible and then finally for the sphere is going to be just an hp sphere dps is going to run ice damage sphere completely up to you i recommend tanky payla but you run what you want to run at the end of the day if you want dps payla you go for it brother you got it i believe in you and then finally for the subsets here talking about our tanky or more sustainable payla we're talking speed effect hit rate hp percentage defense percentage these are the main things that i would say to focus on obviously if you're not running your tanky payla switch out the hp and defense percent for crit rate crit damage you're gonna have a great time there as well and now guys let's talk about her light cones because there are a couple light cones you want to use for i wouldn't say there's like that good of options for her out there as far as free to play goes anyways but before we talk about that if you've made it to this point in the video please hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it mommy akron maybe hasn't come home yet if you're seeing this so please god give me a subscribe anyways guys let's talk about her best light cones at number one i think resolute shines as pearls of sweat is a great light cone for her the best light cone because it offers defense shred which is multiplicative with itself meaning you just get a lot more damage ramping damage the more defense shred you have have. so running resolute here is going to be really really good it gives you a good amount of defense shred it, she is already building into effect hit right so you're basically guaranteed to hit this even with your basic attack so that's why this is really good also i'm not going to be mentioning any five star light cones obviously the five star silver wolf light cone will be good on her kafka's light cone meh, black swan's light cone meh. so that's that's what i have to say here right so yeah i'm not talking about the five star light cones here not even wealth light cone number two here is going to be eyes of prey the only reason you would run eyes of prey is that for some reason you were just so down bad 
on effect hit rate, then you would run this. Obviously, you're not getting any use out of the extra dot that this thing gives, but you do get extra effect hit rate, which can come in clutch, I guess. And then finally, before the tutorial mission starts, uh, this is a free play light cone that no one can get anymore. That's why I'm barely just gonna touch on this. So yeah, run them, run it if you want. Don't run it if you don't want. Obviously, the other two free to play options here are Fermata and Solitary Healing. Solitary Healing is probably a better option for her just because it offers a little bit more break effect, but that's really the only reason why. The break effect's a little bit higher. Everything's contingent on dot or like having a different type of like debuff on the enemy or I guess dot on the enemy, right? So that's why I can only recommend this one. But let's go ahead and talk about Eidolons, right? Because Eidolons are super important for your Pela, specifically Eidolon 1, Eidolon 4, and Eidolon 5. Now, Eidolon 5 has no special properties to it other than it gives you extra defense shred in your ultimate because it gives you plus two levels to your ultimate move, meaning this gives you basically free defense shred for her ult, so it's super good. That's why I recommend it. Now, obviously, like E2 and E6 are going to be good for like a DPS Pela, making her faster and stuff like that, right? But I really want to touch on these right now. E1 specifically, it gives her energy whenever an enemy is defeated. That means if someone on your team kills an enemy you get five extra energy and multiply that with your energy regen rope you have on her she's gonna be golden don't you come back out yeah, yeah, don't king, you come back king? out god yon king mains i tell you what man I, I don't know here man i hope these jokes are landing I've, I've tried to put some effort into like framing these properly and hopefully they landed anyways let's talk about e4 the rest of e4 anyways dr ratio he plays really well with dr ratio right because dr ratio needs debuff implants on the enemies or just a certain number of debuffs on the enemy to work and then finally miss Akaron. If you don't have Resolute Shines, Pearls of Sweat, then you're going to have to use her skill to get consistent debuffs off on the enemy or consistent debuff applications off on the enemy. Now, if you have Resolute, you really don't have to worry about this, right? Because you use the basic attack, you basically get it every single time, right? But yeah, the, these are the Eidolons I want to touch on here. And they, these are the Eidolons that I think you need to reach. At least E4, though, if you want to run it with like Dr. Ratio or something like that, right? But do you guys have your Palos leveled up? Did you guys get Acheron? How are you enjoying your Acheron so far? Is she fun to play? Is she as bad as everyone said? Is there a 2.2 light cone coming that could probably be a really good free play light cone for? The world may never know. But if you look on Reddit, you'll surely find out. And you'll also figure out why everyone calls Enviosity a mint picker too there. So bang for your buck if I say so.